All right, in the middle of grading here, I noticed that we, I had kind of a new issue here that would be important to present itself here. That the, the face here where she stands up is a little too darker than when she sits down. So uh, this is another instance of the curves, another curve that I'm using down here. I'm going to go to hue versus luminance. This is kind of a cool little feature here. I'm going to zoom up to her face here. And her face is a little too dark. I want that skin to be a little brighter without brightening the whole thing. So I'm going to select uh, right here on hue versus luminance. I'm going to select a hue and change the luminance in that hue. So I'm going to click her face there. It adds a node for me, this red node in the middle and then the, uh, the left one and the right one here because uh, this... Uh, map c continues from the right over to the left here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it up and look how it's increasing the brightness level. It's not changing the color, it's just increasing the brightness level on her face, which is really nice. So that, that way we boost up her face a little bit. Let's do a before and after here. I'm going to do Command D and turn off my node and see how it just brightens her face up a little bit. And we can even uh, continue, we can widen the range there, like so and increase the brightness even more on her face. Just, But I'm just trying to get like a subtle boost on her face. So Command-D, see, and I like that brightness level being increased on her face there. Shift-Z to zoom back out. And look at it like on a wide shot here, Command-D. See how it just brings up the light brightness level on her face and not uh, on everything else. It's bringing up the can as well because it's kind of sharing that. It's bringing up the can as well because it's kind of sharing that uh, that color with her face, the kind of the red that people have in there, the red tone that people, the red hue that people have in their face. So right, I'm going to continue grading on this, and we'll come back and show you. I just had to do a little, a quick little mention on that because that, that was kind of an alternate use of another one of these curves. Okay, another thing. I've, I've graded a couple more clips here. I'm almost done, but I just want to show one other little feature here uh, for comparing clips. We've got this little split screen here that we mentioned that you can show like before and after on a, on a certain scene here. Let's, let's see what we're comparing these two right here or side by side. You're comparing them kind of on the split screen, and this one is is called the image wipe. Uh, but we got this split screen one right here, which is kind of cool. So if we've got all four of these right here, we have four different setups here that we want to compare. We can select this first one, hold down shift and select everything in between, or you can select individuals by holding command or control and selecting individual ones like that. Uh, but right now I'm going to select these this range of these four that I've created. Uh, let's do a, actually, let's do a gallery, image gal uh, gallery still of this one here, and we'll call this one close up. Now you can hold down shift and select all four of those there. And up here under this little drop down, first of all, we gotta have our split screen turned on. And under here, it's gonna show you what it's going to split screen. And I'm gonna pull this down and just say selected clips. And this will show all four clips right next, right side by side here. And you can kind of look at these and say, okay, these all match. See, now I'm looking at this one might be a little darker and these ones need a little bit more darkness to them. So this is very helpful to select multiple clips at once and kind of see what you're getting across those and make sure that everything matches before we start going on to the next step, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to get these ones kind of matched up so they look a little darker and then we'll then we'll move on. So to go back to normal where we were, I'm going to go up to the selected clips and tell it to do current group. In fact, you can leave that on selected clips here if you want, if you're going to be doing that more later and just turn it off right here and toggle it off and then toggle off my split screen as well. Okay, and I'll be back in a minute when I do a couple of adjustments and finish all the grades. Okay. I'm back. I think I've created enough stills here, gallery stills, and I've matched, I've looked at all, all of these here. And we go to our multi viewer and tell it to do selected clips. So if we go down to our timeline here and we select those four, plus this one command and select that one there, uh, I can look at my selected clips here and compare them and make sure that everything is looking good from, from beginning to end. If something's not matching, I can go back and do some fine tuning on these things, but everything looks like, looks like it's uh, matching pretty well. So now I think I've got almost every single kind of angle that I can. So the rest of this timeline here, I've got, in fact, I'm gonna close this. The rest of this timeline here, as you play through here, the rest of my timeline here, hopefully I'm going to be able to just, look how many grades I haven't done. But once you've done all these key grades, all you have to do, now this, this gets pretty easy from here on. I'm going to select this clip right here. I'm going to move my mouse over this, or I can do it on the grade up here either way. Uh, but I can, I'm going to select this. Actually, I'm going to do command and select both of these. And there's even, uh, those are her standing up there without medium shots. So I'm going to move my mouse over this one here, or this one over here, where is it? Standing medium shot. Same thing, actually, let's turn this off. Selected clips, go current group, and turn my uh, multi viewer off. So I'm gonna move my mouse over the standing MS here. It's gonna show it what it's gonna look like, but I'm gonna middle click with my mouse, and it just copied those grades to those there. So as we cut through from here to here, here, and I can see some variations that need to be fixed, but but we're moving on here. So I'm gonna move to the close up here. Close up can, I can middle click on that and add it. Go to the wide shot, middle click and add that. Back to the can. This one is probably the same as her sitting down. So I can keep doing these here. Middle click and get everything graded from beginning to end. 
So this is my next step is just uh, finding out what what sort of framing this is and if I can borrow it from these previous ones that I've done. Sitting down. See, so, and I found one that actually needs its own grade. This must have been a new setup where they had the cameras a little bit more overexposed. Actually, that one looks pretty good there. So I'm going to keep doing this here. And I'm going to get all these things done. And then I'll call, and after I do get through middle clicking on all these things and getting everything selected, I'm going to come back and show you the final step. Okay, I've gone through and I've added the grades to all these doing the middle clicking method here. And uh, now my final thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to click in my timeline here and I'm going to arrow down and I'm going to go through shot by shot and see if how everything matches. And if there's variations, I can do the fine tune adjustments on these variations. Uh, and I'm, I'm seeing some things that need to be fixed as we go through. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good, but especially for, from here from like that close up to more of the medium shot here. This needs some contrast adjustments, uh, which is fine, but you're just gonna have to go through each one and then do some fine tuning to get them all to match. Because there were a couple more setups that I probably missed there that they did that weren't the actual same shots where they might have changed iris, might have changed position, and got it kind of uh, and and it uh, the, those grades did not work. But that is the overall grading process for uh, from beginning to end. Those are kind of the basics, just to uh, to, to kind of uh, solidify the basic color grading process. There's a lot more that goes into this, a lot more advanced features that Resolve is capable of, but hopefully that gives you a start and gets you going on the color grading, on prepping a project, moving it over to Resolve, getting the project graded, and uh, getting something that looks a little better than, well, obviously, uh, this here. Here's our original, Shift D, and there's our grade. Uh, and a wide shot here, especially there. Shift D, looking at our grade, looks pretty good. All right, well, if you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more episodes coming up.